Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to conclude the last 32 round and we are concluding it with these lovely matches by you. And yes, I'm sure we're all still reeling in after that, after the after the part 3 which was absolute insanity. But yeah, we got to move on to part 4 now which sees Ratchet going up against Ghidorah, Dino Smash taking on Blood Moon, Cryonova going up against Ultima Dino King. And Gypsy Danger taking on Shin Dominus. And okay, let's make a let's let's make some predictions before we start this match. So Ratchet versus Ghidorah. I think this could be an interesting match. Um off the top of my head, Ratchet has the T-Rex in first, so and he has the Death File, so Ratchet could take an early lead with that T-Rex, but Ghidorah does have that Spino, which is really powerful. I feel like Ghidorah is going to win this match, but I would not be that surprised if Ratchet won. I feel like, you know, it's slight, I'd give, I make Ghidorah the slight favourite. But, again, you know, I feel like this match could go either way. Well, at the end of the day, it depend, depends on what mood the random number generator's in, so... <laughs> none of what I say really matters, but, you know, it's, it's for content, okay? It's for content. I have, to, I have to treat it like an actual tournament, like it's an actual tournament and not just random number generator tournament. Because <laughs> it's more fun now. Um, Dino Smash against Blood Moon. Again, this could be another evenly even match. I feel like if... I think Blood Moon might be in a bit of a pickle with Baryonyx going up against the Pentaceratops. So that is where I think Blood Moon could fall. So I am going to say Dino Smash does have the edge in that match. And Blood Moon's form has not been great going into this match. Although they did get a big win over Dinosaur Queen last time out. To give them, to put themselves to the, into the last 32. But yeah, I think Dino Smash is going to edge it. Purely based on that one type advantage, which can be an absolute killer. Um, I'll save this one for last. Gypsy Danger against Shin Dominus. Well, Gypsy Danger had some good form, you know. After losing to Gozzi in the first match, they had they had a good run of form and then lost to Ultima Dino Queen. Again, it's up for grabs, but I feel like Shin Dominus is going to win this match because they have been on pretty good form themselves. So, yeah, I think Shin Dominus is going to win this one. Right, now for this one, which I feel like is the tie of the round. Cryonova against Ultima Dino King. Now, funnily enough, I feel like expect Cryonova to take an early lead with the Neo Venator against the Coronasaurus. So I'd expect that. But, I, I would also expect Ultima Dino King to pull it back. So, again, this one could go either way. I I feel like maybe, I think Ultima will edge it. But, I wouldn't be that, it wouldn't be that much of an upset if Crownover was to win. I mean, we all, we, he always likes to brag about winning Blood Moon's tournament. But, you know, it only matters if you win mine. <laughs> but yeah, that's enough jibber-jabber. Let's get on with the first matchup, which is Ratchet against Ghidorah. Well then, that's not good. <laughs> I had one frame per second then. <laughs> right, in the red corner for Ratchet, we got a red hot Tyrannosaurus. Well, this... Well, the Tyrannosaurus sweepage has declined since the start of the tournament, where it was quite prevalent. So, will we see the T-Rex sweep again? You never know. You never know. In the blue corner for Ghidorah, though, we got a Shantungosaurus. Don't be surprised to see this Shant take out the T-Rex and give Ghidorah the early advantage. Ghidorah did, did pretty well in the group stage. Getting out in second place behind Engineer Game, then. Oh, 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 come on, random number, Jaina. Don't do this to me. Oh, it's the worst possible start. Well, that's the worst possible start for Ghidorah. A crit from the T-Rex. And well, this is just the start Ratchet would want. Look at the damage. What a start from Ratchet. But the super impact has been triggered. So Ghidorah can easily strike back here. Which he does. Strike him back with a super impact. Well... This is going to do just as much damage to the T-Rex as the T-Rex did to the Shant. Both of our combatants starting strong with crits. Ooh, what's Ghidorah got off though? It's a fullback! Is the T-Rex done? Oh, look at that! Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Quick as a wink, Tyrannosaurus dispatched. 
And that's Ghidorah, 1-0 in front, but I don't think they'll be extending that lead because Ratchet's second dino is the Alpha Allosaurus. Wow, look at that from Ghidorah, mightily impressive there. Well played, sir, well played. I don't think Ratchet saw that coming. Oh, oh, we got the ties. Another tie. This might actually be the quickest match in this tournament. <laughs> Especially at this rate. Well, three ties in a row is enough to take out the Shant and even things up. But... Here's the powerhouse for Ghidorah. Here's the MVP, the Spinosaurus. Well, put it this way, every time this Spino has died quick, Ghidorah has lost. So the key for Ratchet here is to kill this Spino quick. Of course, that doesn't guarantee that Ghidorah will lose because they've got Eocarcaria coming in third. Super Eocarcaria, I might add. But not killing it quick will guarantee that Ghidorah will get kicked off with it. Like this! It's the Tail Smash! Wow, this is clinical from Ghidorah. They've really got two hits off this whole match. They've killed the T-Rex. And they've almost killed the Allosaurus. Ooh! ACT Rocket coming in here. That might backfire though. Especially if the Spino gets the next hit, because I think the Rocket will disappear. Unless it lands immediately, of course. Oh, it didn't. Interesting. Oh, it's a tie. Still no rocket. Ooh, a Mayfly from Ratchet. Well, it's been two hits each from both of our combatants, and look how fast this match has gone. Well, technically Ratchet's other... Actually, no, it's three hits from Ratchet, two from Ghidorah. And there's the rocket. And we are level packing. Ooh, it's Ghidorah, though, getting the 2-1 lead. The Spino getting another attack boost and a light recovery to come as well. I don't know if it'll make a difference, though. I think the Spino will still die if they get hit. Well, speaking of Spinos, here's Ratchet's third dino, it's Spinosaurus. I think this is the first time that Ghidorah will go up against the Spino. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? And also, this Spino will have the type advantage over Super Eocarcaria as well, so could that be key? Of course, Ratchet's got to get past the Spino first for that type advantage to apply. Well, yep, there goes Spinosaurus, and yet again, we are level packing! Wow. Great, now it's time to see what Super Eocarcaria can do. Uh, wait, the mode on three? Well, I don't know, the Spino got off the Tail Smash, and it defeated, it defeated the um, Alpha Allo, so I'd say it did a bit. Not as much as it has done in previous matches, but it... Not as if it done nothing. Of course, I'm sure Ghidorah would have liked it to have done a bit more damage to this, land some damage on this Spino, so its type advantage won't be that much of a tit advantage won't be that much of a problem. But the Ocarcaria gets the first hit there. Ooh, it's a tie. Another tie. Oh, oh, it's a Dino Stuffer! That could have been costly there. The Hydro Cutter stopped. That could have been costly for Ghidorah. Well, twice. Next round is a wait, wait time. Oh, well, it's going to be costly anyway. <laughs> the Spino getting it off. How much damage is this going to do? Well, it's not going to kill it. Put it that way. But look how close it comes to doing it! However, it is awakening time for Eocarcaria. Could this save Ghidorah's blushes? Well, he has to hit, or he's gonna lose. Oh, oh, oh! 
he'll take a tie up, and a tie will put the Spino in killing range. But the Spino gets. Oh, it's done! Ratchet! A fast and furious match, and it's Ratchet who crosses, crosses the finish line, knocking out Ghidorah at the last 32 round. Wow. Wow, that was a frantic match. That was in absolute insanity. Um, commiserations for Ghidorah there. I, th I think, again, the type disadvantage with this... Again, it's cause I, I, I have to put it down to the Spino not doing as much as it ne needed to. It it needed to get hits on, on Ratchet's Spino. So then Eocarcaria wouldn't have too much work to do. But it didn't happen for Ghidorah. It is a last 32 exit for them. As for Ratchet, it's a passage through to the last 16 round. Right, that was quick, wasn't it? I doubt this next match will be just as quick, but we'll, we, but you never know. In this next matchup, we are going to see Dino Smash going up against Blood Moon. Well, this could be an interesting matchup. In the red corner, for Blood Moon, we got a ca- No, not for Blood Moon, for Dino Smash, we got a Kakiradontosaurus. Dino Smash doing reasonably well in the group stage of this tournament. Looking pretty good. It's going to be a tough match, though, because... In the blue corner for Blood Moon, we got a T-Rex. And, well, this T-Rex used to sweep teams in the first couple of matches, but it hasn't done much sweepage lately. Will it sweep this time? I think... It kind of needs to, because Dino Smash's second Dino, as I said earlier, does have the type advantage over Blood Moon's second Dino. So, ideally for Blood Moon, this T-Rex needs to kill Karka and do damage to the Pentaceratops. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, that's not good for Blood Moon, but very good for Dino Smash. It's a fire cannon. Good start there from Dino Smash. Ooh, but Blood Moon responds with the Magma Blaster, getting off his first hit of the match. Oh, look at the damage! This T-Rex is counter-type, I might add, so that Bangba Blaster definitely did a lot of damage. Oh, well, quick as a wink, Kakar's dispatched, and it's a 1-0 lead for Blood Moon. And that's exactly what Blood Moon wants, because now he gets a chance to chip away at Pentaceratops' HP with a T-Rex. Although it's a T-Rex, so it doesn't do chipping away at health, it does one shotage. <laughs> right. Now for Dino Smash's second Dino, it is the Pentaceratops. Now Dino Smash ideally wants to kill this T-Rex without taking any damage. So then Baryonyx has to come in and take on Penta at full power. Oh, well, I think that's going to be all she wrote for the T-Rex. Oh, no, it's not. It survived. Elemental power, though, will limit the damage the T-Rex can do if it gets this hit. Which it doesn't. It's a tie. So Dino Smash avoided taking too much... Well, avoided taking basically any damage from the T-Rex and now has the tight advantage over the Baryonyx. A chance missed there for Blood Moon to pull away. And now he's in a bit of a pickup. Of course... This is the same Blood Moon that had the type disadvantage against Dinosaur Queen's whole team and still managed to win. Ooh, Blood Moon gets the first hit. It's an Aqua Whip. Won't do much damage, but it still do damage. Wow, that's a crit. That's a crit from the Barry, and it only did that much damage. Granted, this Pentaceratops has elemental power as well. But, the Barry gets another hit! Blood Moon showing... Showing that type advantage... Showing that type advantage is not mattering so far for Dino Smash. 
But yeah, even the look at that Futaba kind of pitiful damage. Pitiful. Can Dino Smash get a hit on this Barry? Well, he does get a hit. It's not the hit he wants, though. He wants a Gatling Spark to rip the Barry a new one. But he'll take that hit, getting off more elemental powerage. Ooh, it's a tie. Ties with Soup Blood Moon more, though. Oh, but yeah. There goes the Barry, just like that. Just when you think Blood Moon was fearing well against the Pentaceratops. The Pentaceratops gets off Gatling Spark and kills the Barry. Of course, Dino Smash would have preferred that a couple of rounds ago. Right, now for Blood Moon's third and final Dino. It is Uteraptor. This Uteraptor, I haven't seen too much of it. But it was effective in defeating, Di in defeating the Sorofagnax which got Blood Moon to this position. And it has Dino Illusion, so Blood Moon not out of this yet. Well, this one hit the mid-level, so <laughs> definitely not out of it. Ooh, but can they get that hit? Pendaceratops finally striking back. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, this is not good for Blood Moon! Lightning Strike, I think Blood Moon's done! Ooh, the Dino Illusion might be a saving grace, but it might just be postponing the inevitable. Oh, well, it's a tie, so Blood Moon, but so the Uteraptor dies anyway. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. But look at that, the Pentaceratops, as I said at the start of the video, making the difference. Not in the way I expected it though. <laughs> Dino Smash, booking their place into the last 16 round, and as for Blood Moon, it's a disappointing limp out of the tournament. Well, two matches down, two to go, and now, on to what I think is the clash of the round. It is Crown Over, going up against Ultima Dino King. Right, here we go. Let the fun begin. In the red corner, for Cryonova, we got a Nova Raptor. No, no, that's Primal Carnage, dum-dum. Neil Venator. Because <laughs> I'm planning to record a Primal Carnage video after this. And I'm probably going to play the Nova Raptor. <laughs> Although I don't know if I'll have time now, because it's taking ages. Especially the friggin' part three took the ages to record. <laughs> Longer than I was expecting, although this one's gone by quick action. Right, as for Ultimate Dino King, in the blue corner, we got Karanosaurus. And they're both using Shia, so we got a mirror match. So yeah, this is where I feel Crown Over can get the early need, early lead here. Can he take advantage of this type advantage? Oh, there's the first hit. The Mayfly will be triggered as well. Good. Wow, look at that. Good damage there. Good damage from the Neo Venator. Emerald Garden has been triggered. That could be a saving grace for Ultimate. Especially when he gets it off. Also, another saving grace is that this Karanosaurus is Hunter type, so if it does get. Well, it's going to have more HP left than the uh, Neo Venator, so Hunter type will increase the damage that the Karanosaurus will deal should it get hit. Of course, it has to stay in the lead. And one hit from the Neo Venator puts Cryonova back in the lead. And what is that hit? Boosh! But that was a good Emerald Garden from out with Dino Kick. Whoop, yeah, here's a Cyclone. Odds are in Crown Over's favour now. But can Ultima get off another Emerald Garden? He does! He does! Well, Karanosaurus fearing really well against Neo Venator. Getting off two Emerald Gardens and putting Ultima back in the lead. Look! Oh my god, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that. Of course, one Mayfly changes everything. But Crown Over is not going for it, apparently. Oh, that's a tie. But Ultima won't mind that one bit. Oh, there's another hit from Neo Venator. Will we see another Emerald Garden? Not this time! And that could cost Ultimate there. Yeah. 
Well, it, well, it didn't matter if it didn't if it got triggered because Ultima didn't get the hit. And not surprisingly, despite putting up a pretty good fight, it is crown over in a one 0 lead. But will that lead last? Because up next for Ultima, it is a super duper Tarkia. The awaken mode on three. Expect to see some earth barriers and sand traps. <laughs> uh, I, I've, ne I've never had a sheer matchup before, so I want the I want to hear their interactions. <clears throat> Something like that. Well, there goes Crown Over's lead. Lasted about two seconds. Open the Dino King getting that tech boost off as well, which will definitely help him in taking out this car car. Of course, this car car also has technique boost as well. To help it get off more volcano boosts. Imagine if this thing had heat eruption is instead of fire cannon, then it'd be a very interesting match. Although Tarkia does have slightly more technique, so the odds of getting sand trap off would be more likely than the odds of getting off heat eruption. Oh, that's a tie! No, no heat, no sand trap, but ties favour the Tark. Oh, another hit, another technique boost, and we'll probably see Earth Barrier as well. Ultima Dino King establishing his lead. Yeah, there's the Earth Barrier. Okay, that's once. Oh, well, the Earth Barrier's gone. Crown over, striking back. Will he get off a Volcano Burst? Indeed he will. That will definitely help him chip away at Tarkia's health. Twice. Oh, Tarkia again a hit this time. Now this is where I feel like Ultimate could turn the screw in this map with this Awaken mode. But if Crown Over can secure a hit, that would put him in the driving seat. Oh, and he gets the hit! It's a big one. It's a fire cannon. Well, I'm sure he would have loved to have had, got fire cannon off before the Awaken mode, but at least he stops Ultimate from getting da landing damage with the Awaken mode on the Tarkia. But no Volcano Burst. Kind of surprised. Now I think Crownova could be in the driving si seat here if he gets this next hit, which he does. Crownova 2-1 up and... Is he on the verge of knocking out the champ? Well, Alpha Acrocanthosaurus will have something to say about that. I will say, which could happen based on how this match has gone so far. If this match ends in a draw, then I will think then I probably will think Crown Over will win. Because of the first matchup. Oh, crit from the act rope, and yet again we are level pecking. The attack boost again triggered there, that could definitely help. Dino Slash skip. Well, I don't think we're gonna see the diamond tactic. Unless we get a buttload of ties. But for Crown Over's third Dino, it is Paris Dino Tector. And well, we all know what this thing can do. Moore's learned the hard way about what this thing can do. Dun -dun. I should point out that Ultimate does have the protection of Dino Stuffer as well, so I feel like oh, as Ultimate turned the screw here, can or oh, can Crown Over get the next hit? Oh yeah, that's game. <laughs> oh no, no, not game, but Ultimate Dino King on the brink of winning. Yeah, that's game. Well, our champ avoided a little bit of a scare and managed to pull off the win against Cryonova. Well, it was an even match going and then Alpha Acro just turned the screw and won. <laughs> but yeah, 
That is all she wrote for Crown over in this tournament. You know, given the start they had to this tournament, they did well to get to the last 32 rounds, so they can give themselves a pat on the back there and got many fine victories as well. I mean, that cut the, an, an achieved comeback of the tournament against Moors. Let's not forget that. But it was just a step too far against our champ and his ultimate Dino King going through to the last 16 round, where I feel like he's going to be quite a strong favourite now, especially given that Lousp is out as well. So yeah, Ultimate Dino King will be a really strong favourite in this tournament now. But, one of, one of these two combatants will have, surely have something to say about that in our final match of this last 32 round, which sees Gypsy Danger taking on Shin Dominus. Right then, in the red corner for Gypsy Danger, we got a Rugops. Gypsy Danger, securing their passage to the last 32 comfortably in the end despite defeats to Ultima Dino Queen and um, LP Gozzi however it's going to be tough because in the blue corner for Shin Dominus we got a Tijongasaurus Shin Dominus storming his way to the last 32 round with big wins despite a slow start I do believe it's four, four in a row for Shin Dominus will they make it five because I think it's four I think they won four out of the four yeah well, they lost the first match, I know that. And I think they won the next four. So Shin Dominus on red hot four. Ooh, but it's Rugops getting the opening crest. It's a banana surprise. Oh, look at that. I think the move removal has taken place as well. Yep, so... Oh, wow, Rugops will be going for another crest. But not getting it this time. It does our Sonic Blast as well, I might add. But this is a strong start from Gypsy Danger. Could they be a surprise package in this tournament? Well, oh, a consecutive amount of ties. And that's Tajongasaurus dead. But now things get tricky for Gypsy because... Shin Dominus' second Dino is the powerhouse itself, the Soro Faganax. And this one is definitely a powerhouse. Look at that power, over 3,300 strength. Total attack, I should say. Any one of those moves would rip, rip Rue Gops a new one. Although Shin Dominus has yet to get a hit. Well, it's a hit, but again, yeah, look at that. <laughs> No damage at all. Well, can Shin Dominus even get a hit? Needs to land, start landing a hit. This is all suiting Gypsy Danger down to the ground. And look at this, another banana surprise. What a, what a start from Gypsy Danger. Danger. And Shin Dominus is in huge trouble here. Oh, but has that firebomb turned this match's momentum around? Well, he needed it. <laughs> Gypsy Danger after a strong start losing the Rugops. Right, now for the second dino. It is the Ablosaurus, the dinosaur that should not be a fire dinosaur, but it is. Probably because Sega ran out of fire dinosaurs to put in the game. I mean, if you think about it, there's plenty of Tyrannosaurs they could have used. I mean, they could have used um, Clansosaurus or um, Zucheng Tyrannus. So there are plenty of options for the fire types. Oh, well, this is how fast the match can turn. Shin Dominus getting another hit, and it's a Magma Blaster. This is the power of Sorofagonax. Look at that. Look at that, Shin Dominus storming back into this match. Although, that's all the Sorofagonax will be doing because of his going down. But, now Shin Dominus' ace in the hole comes in, it's Brontokins. Well, we've all seen what, Brontokin, what a Brontokins can do, do in this tournament, haven't we? And this one's a full tilt Brontokins. 
Unlike the other Bronte kids, this one is pretty much maxed out in power and strength. Oh, it's a tie. And it does have the type advantage over this Abelosaurus I forgot to mention. Well, there goes Abelosaurus, quick as a wink. And Shin Dominus pulls it back again. But now, well, now we are pretty much level pecking. Although, all the more while, that bar is filling up. Right, now for Gypsy Danger's third dino, it is Ampelosaurus. Which one of these long necks will get the job done for their respective owners? Will it be Ampelosaurus or will it be Brontokins? Oh, this is in... Wow, all these matches have just flown by. Like, compared to Power 3, this, this is going to be a much shorter video at this point. Oh, that's another tie. Oh, another tie. But the bar is filling up. It's filling up. We might see the spectral armor. Oh, actually, we are going to see it, provided Brontekins gets another hit. Which they do! Better get, get, get codes out. <laughs> oh. oh, stop it. <laughs> well, that is, it is spectral armor time. Now Gypsy Danger has a chance to win. Oh, is it another tie? Come on, let's not have any more ties, please. Yeah, that's game. That is game over for Gypsy Danger. Shin Dominus coming from behind to win and set up a last 16 clash with the champ. Oh, Ampelosaurus stood no chance against Spectral Destroy. And it is a win for Shin Dominus. Win number five in a row now. Shin Dominus, again, I think I said at the start of the tournament, could be one of the newcomers to watch, and he's proven it. And he's proven it. Right, quick look at the brackets and we'll end the session. Well, it looked like Shin Dominus was in big trouble in that match. Especially with our Rugops doing so much damage, but the power of the Sorophagonax enabled him to come back, and well, Brontekins finished the job. But yeah, that is how our last 16 round looks, ladies and gentlemen. So down here, we will have Ratchet going up against Dino Smash, and then Ultima Dino King taking on Shin Dominus. Well, interesting matches here. Leave a like. Which match are you hype, most hyped to see? Well, obviously this is going to be the clash of the round. Seeing our hosts going up against Ultima Dino Queen. Take notes that Ultima Dino Queen has made uh, has at least made the semi-finals in every one of my tournaments. So yeah, and, and the last 16 round is where I fell last time. So lots to play for here. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you don't make sure to check out any all my other tournament videos. And until the last 16 round, this is Strange Gamer signing out. <laughs>